Hello everyone, I'm Hao Lei, 24 this year I believe, currently studying in um, NTU, Biological Sciences. My journey with the church started three years ago. Out of the blue, Honey, uh, he's like that tall guy with orange hair. He uh, decided to drop me a text, you want to come to church? Like we have a Christmas thing coming on. And I decided I got nothing better to do, so I just decided to go for it. Uh. I think for me, Bible study was important because it wasn't so much the uh, information part. It's more the um, emotional part, <laughs> the matters to do with the heart and the spirit. There were a lot of things that I realized through the Bible study that I didn't previously. Baptism for me wasn't so much, like it wasn't so much the culmination of something, but more like the start of something new. I realized that like the Christian journey is always like a, it's always the beginning of something at every stage. It's like, oh yeah, you're baptized. It's another leg of the journey. And after that, oh, D group, another leg of the journey. It's like building a building, you know, you lay a foundation one step at a time. I think it was decided somewhere along the line that, oh yeah, you know, it's time to take the next step. So I decided to just join a D group. Or. A discipleship group is a small community who you can share your deepest worries with, you can um, laugh together with. It's like this safe sanctuary when you can actually express your opinions. Be who you are. One of the unique things about the group is that it's small. It's small in a way that is more personal. You, you get the feeling that it's more genuine, it comes from the heart. Because when you're hanging out with people you know, around your age, it's a lot easier to contextualize like biblical teachings to your particular situation in life. For me, like the, the only thing I could do is just share gen genuinely what faith has done for me. It's given me stability in my life. I don't feel so uncertain. And it's nice to know that you, know, you have the protection <laughs> and uh, company of a higher power. So you don't feel quite so alone. I find these things highly in demand in today's um, hectic, troubled, uncertain world. Yeah, so that's why I want to share the good news. You have to be a disciple first, because if you don't understand what discipleship means, how can anyone else be expected to understand also anyone that you teach or try to teach? I think, I think it's a good principle to live behind. You work on yourself first. You understand in whole what it means. And then afterwards you convey like what you think it means to someone else, what you understand it to be. And who knows, you might be graced with another new perspective, and then the both of you will grow and then so on and so forth.